Why don't you come all the way over here and we'll set up and we'll go the opposite direction. We got some really nice walkie talkies. We should just like plug them in, you know, charge them up. All right, so we're gonna do something a little bit different with this clutch video. We're gonna kind of show you his progress. We've been working on walking singles with him and we're gonna show you the different setups that we do as well as how we're gonna incorporate birds this week and everything that's gonna happen. We're gonna try and put all of these into one video so you can watch a week's worth of progress with Clutch. Guys, if this is your first time to the channel, hit that subscribe button, uh, give us a thumbs up, and uh, follow along here. We've got Jess down here for the first mark. Sit, good boy. Since the last one that you watched, we've been making some pretty good progress. Ready when you are. Clutch. Good, running him downhill. He's already, he's breaking down just a little bit, but you can see him still looking. Good choice, Jess. Trying to help him, hold more attention to her. There, he's got it. a boy. Good boy. Run and vibrate on the way back. Today we're using DT Systems H201820 collar. Nice job. Good. Every time he comes back, we work a little bit on that mouth. Just play just a small amount of tug. When we're ready for it, we take it away. Clutch. That one's gonna be tough. He's already kind of sucking to Yes, but hopefully that wind will help him a little bit on this one. Had a boy. All right, so we're going to have another one come out here. We're gonna see if we can get this one shortened up just a little bit. Those might have been a little bit tough on him. He went right away on that one, but that should really help from a confidence boosting standpoint. Very subtle movement from Jess there. Still sucking into our bird handler. Now this last one is gonna end up coming kind of right off this line that we're on out back into the field here. Clutch. That one, the wind got it. Kind of kept it from getting much distance, but I think he's got this one nailed. Hey, at a boy! That was awesome. It was a great way to finish this out. All right, so we're ready for Clutch's next session. We went ahead and moved again, so it's a slightly different look. We were down over the way last time. Now we're going to be here. We're again, we're going to get one, two, three, four more marks and see how he does. All right. Clutch. <laughs> it's all right, Jess. Excellent, excellent, excellent. This one was a little bit easier for him, but he did fantastic. We need those where he can uh, he can do her right. Atta boy. Good dog. Again, a little bit of mouth work on the way back. Good, good. Clutch. The wind took that one a lot. Good dog. Clutch. Now that's a similar mark, but it's coming from a different direction. Ah, uh, what did you get hung up on? Leave him. looking, he got picked up on something. Shoot.
Good job, Jess. Very subtle movement. He got distracted by something on the way out there that caught his eyes. Give him a little booster there. Good dog, let's go! Clutch. There it is. Nice job, buddy. Good. All right, guys. So for today's session, for this guy, we're going to do what I'm going to refer to as a walk back drill. I don't know the exact terminology. I think that sounds good enough or is a good enough descriptor. Um, but if you want to zoom in real quick, you can see way out there. We've got our bird tech today. Cat's helping us out. What we're gonna end up doing, Clutch and I, is we're gonna walk out there until we're a reasonable distance and we're gonna throw a mark for him. And then he and I are gonna continue to back up until hopefully we can make it all the way here over the course of somewhere in the vicinity of four to seven throws, give or take. We're gonna try and work all the way back here, which will end up being about a 150 yard mark for him. We'll get started. All right, so today we're using DT Systems MR1100 collar. It's the Master Retriever Series 1100. It's an awesome little unit. Uh, our first retrieve is gonna be 79 yards. All right, when you're ready. Clutch. Oh boy, he's killing that one. I love it, I love it. Yeah, buddy, look at that drive. Had a boy! Good dog. I'm going to start walking up, walking back for him. Clutch. Big thing here is we're trying to gain the same throw so that he knows the mark. He knows where he's going. A little less confidence, but he's still digging. He's still looking. There it is. a boy. a boy. All right, I'm going to walk this back a little bit more here. I'm not going to make quite as big of a jump on this one. Clutch. Send him while that one is still in the air. This is a long way, guys. Ah, I got hung up. Yeah, I keep rolling, big boy. He thought he saw something, a little leaf probably or something. We're going to need some help. Maybe. No, he's driving. That's because he knows where he's going, guys. We're using uh, DT System soft mouth trainers. These are three inch. Um, they've been white ones. Hey, here. We're gonna switch for a black and white, give him a little more. The black and white gives a little extra flash, a little more contrast in the air. Sit, nice job. Let's see where we're at distance wise. So I had a little conversation with Bob and he recommended doing this drill to build some confidence on driving out there longer distances. Went back 15 more yards, we're at 125. When you're ready. Clutch. Still sending him a little bit early. Ooh, I love that. That bounce, that roll, that flash. Look at that little boy drive. Oh my goodness. Dude is killing it. Still driving, still looking, still hunting. Help! Ah, ah, ah. Hey, we got a pile of bumpers here. Big distraction. We're going to have to go ahead and try that one over. We're a little late, mama. A little late, mama. It's not a big deal, though. We're at one, 125 clutch here. There's a couple things out here that are throwing just a little bit of distraction for him. And I think what it is, is these, like, there's a handful of leaves and he sees that little flash of uh, leaf in the field, and that pulls his focus, then he loses his train of thought. Let's get back up here for this same distance, see if we can be successful. 240, that in it, right? All right, 
we were right here. Sit. Sit. Now, guys, I'm sending him with that bumper still in the air. So hopefully he sees a little bounce and roll. Help him be successful. Step out a little bit. Good. Now throw. Clutch. That one. Come on, buddy. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's checking our bird tech. Go out there and hunt a little bit more. She's not giving him much. That's good. That's what he needed. Right there. At a boy. At a boy. Getting a little too reliant on some assistance. I don't know if we're going to make the whole 150 yards here, but we're getting dang close. Clutch. I hit a little hole. That little uh, slight little dip there kind of took him, shaded him the wrong direction just a smidgen. Again, he's up there looking, but he pulled off a little faster to go look because he's not getting so much help from the bird. To there it is. Nice job. <whistles> Out a dog. Good. We are at this point here, right at 151. Ready? Clutch. Come on, buddy. Show us what you got, big dog. There's that dang leaf distraction. Keep driving, big boy. Man, that's insane. That's so much improvement in his confidence. So much improvement in his confidence in just one session. Good dog. All right, guys, he killed that last session. Uh, now we're gonna have a fun uh, short session with just three more marks. We're gonna utilize birds for him. This will be the first time we're actually using um, some ducks. We have some dead ducks and dead pheasants for his walking singles out here. We're gonna do just a couple fun retrieves here, get him pumped about these birds. Let's go. Fetch it up. <laughs> this is actually uh, the first duck that we've done in a really long time. I let him play with a duck when he was younger, but this is new. Good, come on. Now, you silly boy. You silly boy, let's go. Ready? Okay. There you go. Good dog. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Sit. No, sit. Good dog. Clutch. There you go. There you go. Nice work. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. All right. Toss this in with our thrower. And we're gonna keep these fairly simple. Uh, they're gonna be somewhere in that vicinity of about 60 to 80 yards, give or take, about half what we had worked up to here in the last session for him. Clutch. Oh boy, got a nice white breast up there. Killed it. That a boy. <laughs> Look at that little duck dog. This one is uh, 92 yards, give or take, where the bird lands. We have the duck and a couple pheasants here. Clutch. The birds are standing up pretty nice. It's got uh, an actual visual there, which is gonna help him a little bit with his marking. There you go. Nice job, buddy. 
that thing picked up, head back this direction. Clutch. That one laid down a little flatter, but it looks like he's gonna nail it. <laughs> Good dog. Good boy. All right, everybody, this is the last uh, day of training for Clutch for the week. Uh, we've seen some really huge improvement, and what we're gonna start today's training session off with is another one of these walk back drills. Hopefully, uh, I think Cat's a little bit farther out there, closer to like 170 today. So we'll get a little bit more distance, maybe, but hopefully we can do a few less reps getting back to the full distance, um, see some more confidence out of him, and then we're gonna move into another drill. Let's get started. Signaling to Cat to throw us one. Sit. All right. Clutch. Go, buddy. Because he wants it. He wants it bad. I like that a lot. Lots of driving confidence. That's what I was kind of hoping to see coming into this session today. Now, this is a drill I think that can very easily be overdone. So it's not one we're going to do very many more times. There you go, clutch. Very nice. He's driving, he's driving. There it is. Flat, killing it, flat, killing it. Clutch. Nice job. Got a little extra bounce at the end there. This one he could need a little help on, but see the power of this drill is he knows where he's going. He's just got to get all the way up there. That hill is kind of dragging him off. And there's not much of a hill there, but that little bit of change in elevation is dragging him, dragging him down. He's not quite holding it perfect. That will come with time. And we'll be able to set him up for some other drills that'll help with that. But he pretty much rocked this. We're gonna have our bird tech come in and then we'll get set up for our next drill. All right, so we gave him just a short break here. We're gonna move right into his second little drill today. He flat killed that. There was no hiccups. He was just hauling butt out there, picking those up, um, all the way out to about 170 yards today. So these now should be simple. Cat's gonna come down here, she's gonna throw us out a short mark. I'm talking short, 30, 40 yards. Then she's gonna roll up to the top of the hill and throw another mark, and he's going to have to run past what they're referred to as the, the dead, the old fall, excuse me, I'll try and get my lingo right here. Basically, he has to run past where he picked up that last one, kind of ignore that spot, and keep rolling up the hill to pick up the new one. Let's see how he does. Asking for some more steadiness. This is pretty simple here. Clutch. Maybe not quite so simple. I held him a little bit long, I think. You can't actually see that one very well, just the way it hits up there. Hell, he picked it up. Clutch. Running past that old spot there without hesitation. Sucked up the hill a little bit. It's amazing with that little bit of change in kind of slant of the hill. Good dog. Um, can affect how he runs. He slides down the hill or anything else. Good boy. Clutch. That one was pretty easy to pick out. He did a nice job with it. a boy! Again, we're gonna send him past the old fall. Clutch. Looks 
Sucky might have just... There it is. <laughs> Good dog. All right, everybody, that is it for his training this week. I hope you enjoyed. Um, you can kind of take this as a game plan for maybe a week's worth of training for your dog. Um, I enjoyed watching his progress, seeing how much he was able to grow. I hope that you guys got to see that too. Thanks for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Clutch, and we'll see you in his next video. Mm -hmm.